before we get into today's video, be sure to grab PIA or Express. They are great to stopping ISP throttling, website blocking, while keeping your privacy safe when you're browsing. They also allow you to do torrents, media streaming, wares, so on and so forth. They also support different devices and payment methods. Links below. What's going on, you guys? I got a bit of a different video here. Now, this is not going to appeal to everybody. I had this issue, and there's only two ways around it to either reformat your whole computer, lose everything you have, or if you have uh, an older computer with a PS2 port, you need to find a PS2 mouse and keyboard to fix this issue. So basically what happened is this controller, host controller, got disabled. And when it got disabled, it knocked out all my USB ports. When it knocks out all your USB ports, guess what? Can't use your keyboard, can't use your mouse, can't log on to Windows. Now, you can try and go into, um, you know, advanced system options. Basically, what that is, is you turn on and off your computer three different times as it tries to boot into Windows. Windows will give you a recovery mode go into advanced boot options and you know you can do the system restore there or people say safe mode but safe mode doesn't work because the drivers are still disabled so again the only way around it is to reformat or to actually get a ps2 uh, mouse and keyboard but unfortunately I have a small form factor tower with no ps2 a lot of new Motherboards don't have a PS2 slot. So, there is a way to fix this. And I'm not going to disable this because then I have to do this all over again. But <laughs> if this is disabled and you're somebody who can access your computer, mind you, you can use your mouse and keyboard in BIOS and post Windows booting. So, anything that is after the Windows has booted, your SOL. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out that hard drive. Now, if it's an NVMe, you're going to need an NVMe to USB adapter. But if it's an SSD, uh, SATA, whatever, you could take out the hard drive, hook it up to another computer that has Windows, and then you would follow uh, the other steps that I'm about to show. If you don't have another, you know, computer or whatever that you can go to, but you're able to actually get on one for a little bit, or you don't have the adapters or whatever um, that you need. Or again, if you're on NVMe, uh, those adapters are quite a bit. And depending on where you live, you might not be able to grab them. You're going to need to make a Windows Go installation. What it does is it puts Windows on a USB drive or an SD card. And it allows you to boot from that device on Windows. So <laughs> it's not the best method. It will be slow as hell. However, you can still accomplish what I'm about to show you, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is you would have Rufus, okay? You would open it up. <clears throat> you would pick your USB uh, thumbstick or SD card. If you don't have one, you can use a hard drive. You just need to uh, click this, show hard drives. And as you can see, I have a couple hard drives here you have options here okay you don't mess with this you just hit select pick the windows iso and then you would pick windows to go you have to pick windows to go now depending on your bios you may need to change it from uefi to legacy um, because uh, G gpt is a lot better than using uh, master boot record okay so I'll try this, hit start. This may take a bit, depending on if it's a USB 2, USB 3. Uh, if it's a SD card reader with an S card, uh, SD card in it, uh, it may take a bit. Now, like I said, when you're booting from this on your computer with the, you know, not being able to use the mouse and keyboard, once you boot into this copy, so you're gonna pick this on your computer under you know your boot devices or whatever you're going to go into the bios and configure it or you're going to hit f11 or f12 or whatever it is to pull up your boot manager it will tell you right when you're booting your computer up what to hit you're going to pick that drive you're going to boot into the windows go portable windows installation 
and then you're gonna download something called devman okay and even if you took your hard drive out and put it in another computer on that other computer you're gonna download devman okay I'll leave a link to this below the people are Northsoft thank you for making this basically you're gonna have man program now this will show enabled and disabled devices this is a third-party device manager that actually allows something pretty sweet when you open it up so if you open this up on another hard drive on another computer I mean it's gonna show the devices on that computer if you're gonna open this on the Windows Go uh, portable Windows it's gonna show what's on the portable Windows drive in order to fix this you're gonna go to options advanced options external windows uh, directory and that other drive that you can't get into will show up here okay so if you're booting from a D or E drive you're gonna pick C drive or whatever drive it is here it should show it if you're on another computer you're gonna pick the drive that shows when you plug in that drive via you know say to the USB adapter okay you're gonna pick that drive once you pick that drive you're gonna look for that disabled driver so uh, one thing you can do is you can actually right click on this go to choose columns disabled will be down here so you can click on disabled and click move up and as you can see it will move up now just for the sake of the video what I'll do so I'll look for one of these sound these sound devices here and I'll actually disable it and you, as you'll see it will actually disable it here uh, I'll use the X split one for an example okay disable select the device are you sure you want to disable it and as you can see it actually disabled it in device manager so when you enable it you can then turn off your computer Take out the hard drive if you're on another computer, put it back into yours, Windows will boot up and you can use your keyboard and mouse. If you're on that Windows to go, after you do this, turn it off, pull out that drive. I know the load times were horrible trying to do this, but you've done it. And then turn on your computer and it will boot and you'll be able to use your devices again. Now, what's funny about this is you can actually look up uh, all USB ports disabled on Google and you can see literally nobody has a solution for this besides a PS2 adapter or PS2 uh, PCI card which those are hard to come by nowadays or to reformat so you literally don't need to reformat you can do this again you either require taking that hard drive out putting it in another computer as a storage device pointing devman to it or doing a windows to go portable windows plug it in boot from it on your computer downloading devman pointing it to that location and enabling the disabled driver i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and i hope it fixed your problem because this is something that uh, windows has actually done I think it was in 2016 or 17 with an update and it screwed a lot of people over so again I don't know what happened but this got disabled and it fucked me so I hope you guys enjoyed this peace out you made it to the end of the video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget on the left is a video in May Lake and on the right you can check out my last video again thank you for checking out the video it means a lot see you on my next one Peace.